Russia is pressing on with its airstrikes in Syria. Around 450 terrorist targets were hit within the past three days, according to the Defence Ministry. It released footage of some of the latest strikes, including the bombing of the oil transfer centre in Raqqa province, which is one of the key strongholds of Islamic State. Russia has been pushing for a broad coalition to fight ISIL, and that's what the French president discussed with the Russian leader during his visit on Thursday to Moscow. President Putin and I agreed on three main issues. First of all, sharing intelligence data. Secondly, our work should be fully coordinated. And finally, our target must be Islamic State and other terrorist groups. Speaking about coordinated airstrikes, Vladimir Putin here explained in what way both sides have agreed to carry out the attacks. We've agreed to share intelligence information with France, like we already do with some of our regional partners, on which territories are held by terrorists and which by healthy opposition. This way we will refrain from hitting the moderates and coordinate our strikes on areas seized by jihadists. Also, the French president, Francois Hollande, called the recent downing of the Russian warplane a serious and regrettable incident and said that it is important to avoid any new risks and new escalations. He mentioned that it is essential to hit only terrorist targets. Now, another key point of this negotiations, the creation of the so-called um, broad anti-terror coalition. Well, here, uh, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, said that it would be better and actually easier to unite all forces in one coordinated coalition. But if other partners uh, think otherwise, then Russia is ready for any other suggestions. He also stressed that more and more countries nowadays back this initiative. Well, these are just some of the key points that were raised at this uh, recent meeting between the two presidents. But overall, it really seems that both sides are quite content with the outcome. The French president has been touring a range of countries throughout the week, calling on major world powers to unite in the face of the terror threat. The only purpose is to fight against terrorism and Daesh. This is what we must do, all of us. I hope that Germany can engage further in the fight against Daesh in Syria and in Iraq. Regarding the fight against Daesh, because in the end this should be our goal to destroy Daesh, we need the will to gather and unite all of those who want to act towards this goal internationally. We need to create a broad and strong coalition to fight terrorism together and that is why I came to Moscow today so that we can find solutions and coordinate our actions in order to effectively battle our common enemy. France would benefit from its anti-terror cooperation with Russia, so says Bruno Drewski from the National Institute of Eastern Civilizations as Paris needs a direct link to Damascus. Russia and France have quite a lot of experience uh, concerning the um, uh, situation in Syria and their cooperation can be very positive. If it works, uh, it's very positive, especially also because uh, France has no uh, links now with um, Syria and Russia has very good links with Syria and it's uh, obvious also that the Syrian intelligence service which is cooperating with, uh, with Russian intelligence service uh, uh, can be also uh, through Russia linked with France, uh, who officially doesn't want to have uh, relations with uh, the Syrian government. But in, in fact, it's obvious that this war has to be carried on with the cooperation with the Syrian government, and especially with Syrian uh, intelligence service. After the break, the story of a CNN journalist instructed what to tweet by U.S. government officials.